Good morning. Today I'd like to talk about the quarter scale that's part of the sawmill. Uh, every sawmill I've seen has one, um, and we're going to look in depth on them, how, how they work and how to use them to help reduce the amount of effort and waste that's created when running a sawmill. Now the log that I'm going to be milling today is just a, a part of a 16 inch diameter hemlock log I was milling the other day but I wanted to show you how I plan on cutting the remainder of the log into uh, four quarter boards and at the same time demonstrate how to set up the sawmill so that you can cut the boards and in the end the very last cut you make is the last board that gets produced. Uh, many times on some of the other videos that I've seen from other people they get down to what they think is their last cut and they find out that the last board that's still on the bunk is a little bit thicker than all the rest that they've been cutting because they didn't start at the right location and they end up having to take a last last cut in order to get that last piece down to the proper thickness. So hopefully what I can show you is how to eliminate that last last cut and end up with all of your boards being the same thickness. So let's get started and make some sawdust. Before we get started, I'd like to introduce you to the inch scale and quarter scale that's part of my LT40. Uh, the same scales are available on the LT28, 35, 50, and I also believe on the 70. They're actually a hard mounted uh, scale, not a magnetic mount. Uh, the inch scale is permanently mounted, is slightly adjustable up and down for zeroing or calibrating the sawmill. The other is a quarter scale. What's shown here on the left is what they call their standard quarter scale or softwood quarter scale. Quarter, the four quarter scale is four quarters of an inch, five is five quarters of an inch, etc. The distance between each mark is, in this case, four quarters of an inch plus an eighth, five quarters of an inch plus an eighth, eight quarters of an inch plus an eighth. So between the two quarter scale, quarter inch, I'm sorry, the four quarter scales, we have an inch and a quarter. If we drop down to the five quarter, we have one and three eighths. Six quarter, we have one and five eighths, etc. This shows the hardwood quarter scale um, on my mill. This is the rear of the quarter scale I showed you on the other side. And similar to the quarter scale on the opposite side, we have four, five, six, and eight quarter marks. Now, the difference between the standard and the hardwood is the distance between the marks. Now, in this case, the, the distance between, instead of being one and an eighth, is one and a quarter inches between each of the marks. Uh, so a six quarter would end up being one and three quarters, five quarter is one and a half, four quarter is one and a quarter. I've got the log set up on the mill. I'm getting ready to cut my four quarter boards out of here. And um, this line that I've drawn on here goes through the center of the pith. This line up here is two inches up from there. So if I choose to set this thing up that way, I can get a four by four cant out of it. That's at three inches if I wanted to get a six by six cant. What I'm going to do now though, before I make any cuts at all, is just to show you different methods or, or different scenarios on uh, making your cuts, I'm going to drop the blade down, put it in manual, until we're lined up with the pith, which is right about there. And I'm going to set the scale, the quarter scale here, to six quarter, which would be right there. But because I want to put the pith in the center of the board, I'm going to raise the six quarter scale even higher so that the center line is right about in the center of two six quarter marks, which I've done right there. All right, so we're ready to actually start cutting off the top to bring the, uh, the cuts down to the center of the log here. So let's raise this up until we're at a six quarter mark, which we're right there. 
I'm going to use my simple set to make things easy for me. I've already got it set for six quarter, so I'll just pretend I've made that cut. I'll drop it down one. We'll make a second cut, and we're finished with that cut. We drop it down. Now right there, if I make that cut, the cut after this one will give me a six quarter board, and as you can see, the pith will be centered perfectly within that board. So let's raise the unit back up again and uh, select five quarter. I'm going to go over here, drop down the quarter scale so we can start from scratch. And again, I'm going to drop down to the center of the pith. That's pretty close. And again, we're going to be doing five quarter. So I'm going to raise the quarter scale. As you can see, there's a five quarter mark right there. And that's roughly halfway between the two five quarter marks. So we'll tighten that down. We're going to raise the saw head up to about where I want it to go. Right here. And how are we? Oh, a little bit higher. There's a five quarter mark. So we're going to put it in auto here. And five quarter is one and three eighths. There we go. So we're ready to go here. We're going to be cutting five quarter. So we'll drop down my first cut. There's our first cut at five quarter, second cut at five quarter, third cut at five quarter, and the next cut at five quarter. As you can see, the uh, pith again is centered in the, uh, in the board. Put it back in manual. We're going to raise it up here. But instead of stopping at the center, I'm going to stop at the four inch mark. I should say four inch can't mark right there. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. Uh, let's cut four quarter now. So I'm going to loosen the scale right here. And we're almost at a four quarter mark. So we'll raise that up a little bit. Now we're at four quarter. Take the saw head up to where I want to be, roughly there. And down a little bit. Now there's our four quarter mark. So we're going to put it back in auto. And four quarter is one and one eighth inches where we are right now. So I'll make my cut. First cut there. Second cut. Third cut. Fourth cut. And that's the, going to be one side of our four by four cant. So now that we're done with that, let's do the same thing with a six by six cant. We'll raise this until we're at the six inch mark right there and we'll move the scale let's stick with four quarter we're already set for four quarter so let's raise this thing up and that's pretty darn close so let's give that a shot put it in auto and we're going to go down again we're cutting four quarter Oh, crap, I didn't pay attention to that, so uh, let's do it all over again. You know, it's not easy being me. Good, let's do that, and we'll try it one more time. Still coming down at four quarter. Hopefully I won't overrun the mark this time. First cut. Second cut. And there's our next cut right at our six inch cant mark that we've put in there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to be cutting for real. I am not going to be leaving any cants on this. I'm just going to cut straight through. So I'll set everything up. I'll make some cuts uh, on the top and then I'll flip the thing 180 and we'll set up the next series of cuts. And uh, just for giggles, we will set it up so that the pith is going to be in the center of one of the boards. So let me get that started and uh, see what happens.
Okay, you may have noticed that I was paying so much attention on the narrative that I totally forgot to heed my own narrative. So um, that goes to prove that, believe it or not, I actually make mistakes from time to time. Generally, there's somebody around that I can blame, but I happen to be here all alone today, so there we go. Um, so anyway, here we are. I screwed up a little bit, and um, I know you'll get over it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, uh, since I want to still continue to cut five quarter, hopefully the correct way now, I'm going to take my quarter scale, loosen it up, and re-zero it. There. Now it's zero. It's aligned with the bunk. And now I can hopefully cut four quarter material by setting it up to the proper marks on the quarter scale. And... Uh, Finish milling this log. All right, that looks pretty close to where I want it to be. Um, first cut is going to have quite a bit of weighing on it, I think, but uh, we're going to put up with that. <laughs> 